Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. And I swear, it's got to end sometime. There has to be an end to the response, to the response of someone's responding to someone else's response. It just goes ad infinitum, it seems. Well, you know, Unnatural Vegan, of course, made a response video to the video of Angie and I, where we kind of called her out a little bit. And um, people are saying, why didn't you respond to her response to your response? It's like, well, first of all, they don't watch her channels, as we said, so we really don't know what she's saying. And in particular, I had said no more Swayze videos, but and I don't watch them. Foot Soldier made a video describing this whole situation about her response. Um, and apparently she was upset that we didn't link to her original video. And then she expresses how butt hurt she is that Happy Healthy Vegan linked my video and not hers. <laughs> you know, the one that you actually did link to in your description. Not including a link to my video in your description so that your viewers can check for themselves. And that's why I linked the Foot Soldier's video. We watched his video, which had footage of her. So anything that you saw of her in our video, some Foot Soldier's video, and he got the, the credit, the link to his video. Anyway, watching that video of Foot Soldier's, his latest one about her responding to us, I was wondering, should I even bother responding? Because like I said, this just these responses to responses need to stop at some point. And what she said in there, I just face palm in the whole time and going, this this can't be real. There's just so much just irrational thought in there. It just seems like it's not warranting me to respond, but it's just so bad, I think I have to. For instance here, she's accusing me and Angie of misleading our viewers. You know, I don't know if Ryan and Angie are intentionally taking people out of context or not, but the effect is the same. They are misleading their viewers. So this is hilarious and completely absurd. She's accusing me of shortening a clip I used of Joe Rogan such that I'm taking him out of context so that I'm intentionally misleading and deceiving people. Misinformation. Let's see. I chose not to include this clip of Rogan calling them bullshit artists because he literally walks it back like seconds later. These doctors that are just bullshit artists that are saying all these things that aren't supported by science. And when this one doctor goes over all the different things and what the health that are incorrect, you kind of understand what it is. Mm -hmm. They mean well, I'm sure they, they mean, mean well. well. Yeah. But Ryan thought that it was okay to include only the first part, the bullshit artist part. These doctors that are just bullshit artists. Or maybe, you know, he's just so convinced that Rogan is one of the bad guys that he just didn't even hear the second part, the they mean well part. Mm -hmm. They mean well. Uh, either way, again, the result is the same. He's misleading his viewers. Can she really be serious here? How does it make any difference if I left off that last bit where he said, but they mean well? Mm -hmm. They mean well. The reason why I didn't include that because I didn't think it made any difference whatsoever. He just called the doctors that are in the movie with the health bullshit artists. He called them bullshit artists. But they mean well like okay okay see he says they mean well that's not denying the fact that he's asserting that they're bullshit artists she says he backpedals when he says they mean well so according to her you can call someone a bad thing like in this case a bullshit artist but as long as you preface it by they mean well then it's cool so if i say a natural vegan don't watch your channel she's a bullshit artist but she means well if i say that it's cool, right? It's not an attack. Well, Foot Soldier found this absurd as well. What is Unnatural Vegan literally saying? That because Joe Rogan said they mean well, he's then sort of retracting what he said one second earlier about them being bullshit artists, and Ryan is therefore misleading his audience? What? You know, I don't know if Ryan and Angie are intentionally taking people out of context or not, but the effect is the same. They are misleading their viewers. Once again, if anyone's misleading their viewers, it's unnatural vegan. I see some projection going on here. Let's look exactly what taken out of context means. It means it's a fallacy when a, a passage is removed from its surrounding matter in such a way as to distort its intended meaning. Well, let's see. I removed, but they mean well from the longer clip about the, uh, the doctors being bullshit artists. 
Does that distort? Does that affect the intended meaning of the passage? No, not a bit. They're still bullshit artists, whether they mean well or not. Nothing is taken out of context. I'm not misleading anyone. I would gladly go back and re-edit my video and leave that little bit in of him saying, but they mean well. It makes absolutely no difference. I think it's shitty to your subscribers. It's your subscribers who you are misleading. It's your subscribers who you are disrespecting. Again, more projection. If anyone's not respecting and misleading their viewers, it's you, a natural vegan. I mean, you really expect your followers to buy that irrational line of reasoning there that I took Joe out of context? There's nothing to take out of context, with or without, but they mean well. It makes no difference. You're just misleading your, your viewers. It's not us. And speaking more about Joe, he seemed to be upset with me that I portray him as not the greatest fan of veganism. He made it clear that he is not anti-vegan. I mean, I don't know how he could have made it more clear given the statements he made. If you're careful and you're smart about your saturated fats and unsaturated fats and, um, you know, especially uh, essential fatty acids and things right. like that, you could live a very healthy life as a vegan. Mm -hmm. Just do it right. If you feel that constitutes Joe Rogan being positive about veganism, you are a bit deluded. You might be able to be healthy as a vegan if you jump through all of these hoops and take all these supplements and watch what you eat and look at your fats and look at your macros. Yeah, that sounds really promoting veganism. So yes, that's very sensible. We as vegans should look up to Joe Rogan as some kind of vegan nutrition authority, take his advice based on absolutely zero experience with the diet. Hmm. This whole thing is a very generous, very sensible statement that I, I really appreciate his audience hearing. So you appreciate his massive audience hearing that veganism is hard to do, okay. Joe understands and agrees with something like 99% of the ethical arguments for veganism. Oh really? Do you have any evidence whatsoever to back that point up? Yes, yes, right. I understand your point there. Yes, good point, good point. And Unnatural Vegan is complaining about me in her videos for allegedly calling her a troll. Well, not exactly. I said she was trolling and finally make a response video to her. Because I was saying before, I'm not going to bother. She's just trolling. Mm -hmm. It turns out, even if I had called her a troll, according to Foot Soldiers research, I wouldn't have been too far off. Oh, so they're so immature because they're accusing you of doing something which you're actually objectively doing based on the commonly accepted definition of that thing. Okay. The sooner we can focus on the arguments and stop misrepresenting each other, stop calling each other trolls, the sooner we can have an actual discussion and get at the truth. Well, that's mighty decent of you, a natural vegan, to want to take the high road and forego all future name calling. Hmm, let's see how you referred to us in this response video of yours. And then continues to insult Happy Healthy Vegan by saying that they're childish. So childish. Is that an insult to children? I think it is. As far as me siding with Joe Rogan or Bro Rogan, again, I, I guess we're 12, so. I'm of the opinion if you can't lead by your own example, you really don't have a leg to stand on. And you two are fueling this. You know, you're, you're taking part in it. You're calling me a troll. You're saying I have a vendetta. And by extension, that is encouraging your viewers and other people to do the same. You should really stop and think how this looks to non-vegans because I'm willing to bet it doesn't look good. I'm willing to bet it does not endear them to you or to veganism. Oh, oh really? So it's not all right for me to allegedly have called you a troll, but it's perfectly fine for you to call us childish? It's, it's basically it's not okay to criticize unnatural vegan. It's okay to attack with the health, but I can't fire back and defend with the health. That's not cool. When you criticize me, when I'm criticizing what the health, which is incidentally one of the biggest wins for the vegan movement in the history of the vegan movement, it will be bad for the movement and the animals. So don't do it. Don't criticize me when I criticize what the health. So unfortunately, Swayze will probably feel compelled to make a response to my response and just add this on forever i mean it's getting absurd guys you know it started off with the movie with the health and then z dog tried to debunk with the health in his video then joe rogan tried to debunk with the health based upon z dog's video because joe rogan was too lazy to watch the movie and then i responded to joe rogan and then 
a natural vegan felt compelled to respond to me, then Foot Soldier responded to her, then me and Angie responded to the Foot Soldier video, which then a natural vegan responded to, too, and then um, Foot Soldier made his response, which I'm showing here, then I'm finally responding here. Let's just end this. This is getting absurd. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. Is it all right to call someone a bullshit artist or any bad thing you want to say about that person as long as you tell that person that they mean well? And if you were to chop that they mean well out, is that taking them out of context, trying to mislead and disrespect your viewers? Anyway, let me know what you think about that. And let me know what you think about this response to response to response to response to response. I'm telling you, I'm stopping. I have much better things to talk about and share with you guys about actual veganism. So anyway, that's all I got to say for now. Um, subscribe if you're new for more from me and Angie. Until next time, this goes out to you, Unnatural Vegan, and everyone, keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Tonight.